right, today we are doing monsters and creatures. Now, let me give you Brian's definition of a monster and a creature. A monster is a human that is big, strong, and deformed, and kind of mindless evil in some way. I don't want to say mindless because that could be a zombie, but zombies are not big and strong. They're just stupid. So, yeah, that's a, I, that is my definition of a monster. So when you decide you want to draw a monster or you want to draw a creature or you want to draw a demon, you have to think about what these things are. Well, to, and to me, and as I said, this is Brian's definition. To me, a creature is any type of animal that has be, become like deformed or has changed to where it's now a threat, like a lion that walks up and it has wings and horns and, you know, that type of thing. So that would be more of a creature. You know, a man, you can call anything a monster. You can call anything a creature. But when you're doing your book, you want to kind of have these things separated so we know what it is. Like somebody with a, um, you know, a 320 IQ, but he's short. That wouldn't be a monster or a creature. It'd just be a short, smart guy. So, all right, let's do um, a monster. First thing that you do, and I'll try to talk as I draw so you don't just see my hands. The first thing you want to do, you, you think about it because as an, as an artist, as um, a comic book artist, make this a little bigger, you are, or should I say comic book creator, you are doing this stuff from your mind. So nobody can see your mind except for you. So you have to see it first and it's hard for me to draw and, and talk sometimes for, for some strange reason I don't know maybe I'm getting old so nobody can see what you 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 are thinking about so you have to picture that in your mind first then everything has a shape everything has a shape whether it's a fish shape or a, um, a hectagon shape or whatever you might not be able to draw it right away. And number rule number one is don't try to make it perfect. Don't try to make your first drawing perfect. I'm not going to try to make this thing perfect. This is like a rough sketch of, let's just say, something I see in my head. And I'm, I'm using a picture, actually, because I can't think about what kind of monster I want to draw. Facially, anyway, the rest is going to be from me. But everything has a shape. Just take the closest shape that you see in your head, stack it up with other shapes and become uh, and turn it into whatever it is that you may be thinking or that you see. You gonna start this on me again? So yeah, just, just remember that. This is your creation, only you can see that. Do the best you can, stack it up, put it together, come out with whatever, the closest shape that you can, the closest creation that you can have for your creature or your monster or whatever. So let me go ahead and, and start drawing this again. Because um, I've said in my last video that there is no perfect, you cannot do a perfect drawing because uh, someone wrote me and said that he's doing a book. He's doing his first comic book and he said he's not going to put it out until it's, it's perfect. And I told him, I said, there is no such thing as being perfect because you start drawing today. You start drawing your book today. You start drawing your faces and your figures and all these other things. A, a week from now, or let's just say a month from now, you're still drawing your book. You are a better artist than you were a month ago. So when you're drawing a better hand than you did a month ago, you'll go back and you see that hand and you say, oh, that's, that, that's not right. That's, and you'll redraw it. And you'll go back two months later from to that month back and then you'll redraw that. And you'll go another month after that, you'll go back and you'll continue to go back to fix stuff because you are a better drawer than you were when you first started. So things will never be perfect. So don't, don't think that it's going to be this perfect book. It's going to be so great before I get it out and everybody's going to love it. Just have fun and get it out. You, as I say, the more you draw, the better artist you will become. And a year from now, you know, you'll still even be better. Then maybe five or 10 years, then you can start saying, okay, let me try to get perfection but even at that you'll become a better artist the more you draw the better you'll get so don't don't think that oh, I'm not going to put this out put it out let the world see your talent your skills your imagination and then just have fun with it you know don't do anything if you're not having fun with it why would I go and join a football team if I'm not going to have fun playing football 
Why would I, you know, play soccer or go swimming or play a piano or do anything if it's not fun? So when you're having fun, you really don't mind. You don't mind making mistakes. If you're playing just a crazy video game, you don't mind like falling off the roof or, or getting shot or something like that. But when you get too serious and you're ready to just destroy your game console and you want to curse everybody out in the house, then you need to just lay off of that. So if you're looking at one of my drawings and you're trying to draw it and you can't get it right and it's just, just annoying the hell out of you, then find something else to do. That's not, that's not your goal. That's not for you. You, you. Maybe an artist is not the thing that you need to be doing. An artist is not the thing that you need to become. You need to become something else that's going to make you happy and keep you happy. So, monster, monster. As I say, it's going to be a human. Maybe some failed experiment or something like Frankenstein. You know, that, that's, that's considered a monster. It was a human that became something that's just out of control, just crazy strong and, you know, huge. And you won't have the little teeny monster. That, that would become a troll. If you have something really small, that's, that's more of a troll or just, you know, a tiny little annoyance running around your house. You catch it in a mouse trap, and it's all good. So again, imagination, sit down, sketch out several different uh, things that you see. Don't try to do it the first time. Sketch it out a few times and then just add to it, subtract to it, take away from it, and then go from there. Now, if I put um, pointy ears and horns on this guy, then that becomes a demon. So that you have, to, you have to watch that. So if I did this and I did this, you would say, oh, that's a demon. So yeah. Monsters won't have pointy ears in the definition of Brian. In the book of Brian, it, it won't have pointy ears or horns. You can because, as I say, it's your drawing, but more of a monster would be just a human, humanoid kind of thing. So watch the ears and no horns. A lot of time, if you put like teeth, if you start putting teeth on uh, or pointed teeth, which I'm going to put on this guy, pointed teeth on something, it becomes more of like a vampire <clears throat> type of a, a creature. But vampires are completely different because they have, they're basically, they're, they're, they're good looking humans. Well, I'm not going to say all of them with just the, the fangs. You might have your, you know, your ghetto vampires that just, you know, just dirty and just, you know, beat up. And then you have your rich vampires that just wear nice clothes, drive Ferraris and Porsches around. So this guy is a monster because he is straight human. Strong and powerful. And I'm going to do this really quickly because I want to get into... Um, creatures at the same time of the same in the same video so give this guy some hair and maybe some hair here so this guy could have been a, a professor or a scientist that took his own um, serum or created serum and then he turned into this monster so let me do more of his eyes and then <clears throat> to represent power you have to give the big neck you have to give the big the Colossus neck and I'll put his shoulders up on his back up shoulders up on his back shoulders up on his head not necessarily to show that he's bending down or bending over but kind of to show that he's big and powerful so I'll give him some tattered clothes to get the muscles because you know he is powerful creature striations in the chest 
the collarbone, and then the big shoulders. And this could have been what's left of his lab coat. And his name could have been here, Dr. Whoever. Dr. Brian. So that would be considered your monster in, in the definition of, of Brian, in the Brian's definition book. Because he's not loving anybody. He's out to kill people. And he's un in uncontrollable. It's bottom lip. So that makes him more the monster type. Still being human at the same time. So if I ink this quick ink, I, I, I'll, I'll do a slow ink. I'll do a just ink at the, at, the, at the end because if I do a quick ink, it will just screw up the picture that I have. And I kind of like this little monster, Dr. Brian monster. All right, so let's do, let's do a quick creature, creature. All right, so quick creature. Remember, it's, it's more the creature is more animal than human. You can take an animal and add some human stuff to them but it's you want to stick with animal itself but again it's your it's your um it's your imagination your creature your character it's your world So we have a crazy looking creature here. Let's give it some neck that goes into the chest, which goes into the little shoulder, which is right here. You gotta have much of the shoulder. As I said, for this, I'm, I'm using reference, but I'm gonna change it around a little bit just because you ought to. Speed drawing. Okay, there you have it. This is my dog creature. Well, it's not my dog creature, but it's a dog creature that, um, that's a dog creature. Yeah, so the most important thing, again, is that you see something in your head. You have to be able to draw it out. Everything's a shape. Again, everything is some type of a shape, either square, circle, triangle, or anything in that family. Whether you want, like, a, a fish-headed, fish-headed cobra, we're going to fish, fish-headed cobra, here's a cute little fish-headed cobra with venomous fangs and gills and whatever, and you have to see it, don't, don't, don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first time. Figure it out, find out, thank you, find out what it, um, 
what it really looks like because you are the, the, the director, you are the um, the artist, you are the whole person. Let's say you can draw a car, you know, if you say you want a car, okay, a car is not something from the imagination, but when you look at a car, let's just say, I'm going to give you this, hold on now, earthquake, this. Now, if I say to draw this, the first thing you would do is kind of like look at it, the, the curves and the lines and so forth, and like, oh, that'll be hard to do. But this thing is just basically a rectangle. It's, it's, it's a rectangle, square rectangle like that. The only hard part is when you see it, you as the artist, the director, have to see it from whatever angle you want to see it from. That would be the hard part. So that's why I say about shapes. You, you might not want to draw a car from the side. You know, that's just, that's just straight boring. You might want to see it from like that front cool angle. So you'll just have to learn how to draw um, your shapes. As I say, it's hard for a brother to draw and, and talk at the same time. You have to master your shapes so that when you draw something, when you see it, number one, and you start to draw it, you'll be able to turn that shape around regardless of whatever it is till you can get that, that cool shape that you want or that right angle or, or shape that you want or need for your drawing. And this is like crazy crooked car, but you know what I'm saying. And one last time, because I have to beat it in you. You know what you want. It starts in imagination. Think about it, sit down, see it in your head. I want a, I want a tall, skinny guy. So just, just say, okay, this is gonna be the body, tall and skinny, like that. Just start out like that, tall and skinny. Big feet, big feet, okay, so you want big feet. You got big monstrous arms on a tall and skinny person, okay, big monstrous arms, like that, and this. This is how you should be starting out your roughs, just like this. Then later on, you say to yourself, uh, I want this, or the thing is, if if your if your character is wearing clothes, in some strange way, you won't see a lot of the muscle that you have to draw, because clothes covers up a lot of mistakes or drawings. So if this tall, skinny character you're doing, let's just say he's a tall, skinny vampire with um, big hands, big just big old vampire type person. With wristbands. With sp spikes on them. And you just take it one step at a time. Don't worry about getting the body right. This is your rough sketch of your idea that is in your head. You want them to have like biker shorts. Right, those are not biker shorts, those are underwear. Same thing as biker shorts. You, you want them to have a tank top. And then use reference, whatever reference. If you need to, to do clothes, you know, just use reference which is like really short because he's tall and you know, he got a little bit, a little bit of ab up in here. And then whatever, wristbands or bands around his bicep. And if the arms are bare, then you say, okay, now I have to draw the muscle because his arms are bare. With the wristbands. And if it happens to be a creature, Look that, look that stuff up. If you're doing like a bull or something like that, look it up. Reference. Reference is always good. Why do I have these toys? I'll tell you later. I had the dog in the last video. I had the bull and the rhino and the chair. Rings a bell. So, yeah, just look it up. Add to it. Like the, the fish. Where did the fish go? You know, find out what a fish looks like. Find your angle. Draw your fish. Draw your part of your snake. Erase the part that you don't want. And you should be having fun when you're doing this. Remember that this is always to be fun when you're creating your whatever.
So I think that's about the, all the information I have on this one, the creatures and uh, monsters. I said I was going to ink these. So I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to ink these, and I will be right back with the finished product. 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 All right, so here we have the final product. We have your monster and your creature. So let's give a backstory to this. This is Dr. Brian. So Dr. Brian's pet dog, Charlie, broke his chain again and went into the neighbor's backyard, Miss Vivian, and he dug up all her prize-winning chrysanthemums, which pissed Dr. Brian off and set him into monster mode because Dr. Brian has no more money because he doesn't have a job because he lost his job during the layoffs. So yeah, this is this is what we have. You know, always have a story for your drawings. It makes it a little easier. So that's gonna be it for this video. Throw my pins down, class will be dismissed, and don't forget to subscribe. And all you new subscribers, thank you very much. Help me grow my channel. A lot of people say my channel is underrated, and I truly believe that. But I know my time will come when it comes. So until then, I'll keep putting out these good videos and helping you guys to reach your goal as a comic book artist or just become a better artist. So peace be with you guys. Stay safe. See you in the next video.